Hello, everybody. Good Monday afternoon. It's time for another video. If you're not already, go ahead. Go ahead and just click that like, subscribe, and notification bell right now and join this channel. Hope you all had a fantastic week or weekend. I know I did. And so I know some of you were surprised with the four videos I posted last Thursday. I finally got my laptop back. So, and so I'm very excited to actually have my laptop back and that I can do more of these ASMR videos today uh, for you guys. Today's topic is, and this was actually, I got a, a comment from someone who's in this profession and they would like to have me do a video on it and that I just do a video on it today. Today's title is, is Death. Death. That's today's ASMR title. And the person that actually sent me this, uh, she works, this person works in a mortuary and she had somebody come in and ask them some questions and they would like some clarification. I just want to let you know that death is upon every single one of us. If you did not know the actual the actual stats, is this one out of one die? Okay, everyone's going to die, whether you like it or not, whether you know it or not. Everyone dies. We each die day by day by day. And let me just tell you something: death is no respecter of persons. It doesn't care how how old you are. Or how, or how smart you are. But if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have nothing to fear. Let me read these if, to give you some comfort to my, for my Christian believers out here who want to talk about death. And I'm going to start this in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse... 50 through 57. I tell you this, brothers, flesh and blood cannot inherit, inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the, the, the imperishable. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall all, we shall not all sleep, but we shall be, but we all shall be changed in the, in the, in the, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. For this perishable body was put on the the imperishable, and this mortal body must put on immortality. And the when the perishable puts on the puts on the imperishable, and the mortal puts on puts on immortality, then shall come to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is your victory? O death, where is your sting? The sting of death is sin, and the power of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You see, death came into the world because of sin. If Adam and Eve hadn't sinned, there would be no death. But I want to let you all know out there, know out, know out there for the people who are believers, that death doesn't have to be scary. It can be a wonderful experience because when you as a believer in Christ die, we just transfer from this earthly body to our heavenly body. Now, God is the author of everything. He holds everybody in his hand. He knows when you're going to live, and he knows the exact time of when you're going to die. Again, he holds everybody's life in his hands. Okay? Now, you may live for 70 years, 80 years, 
or you may die at a young age. Now I don't understand. Now here on Earth, in our heavenly, in our on our earthly minds, we cannot understand all that God does. We don't understand why God takes young children home to be with Him in heaven. From they could die at a, they could be a stillborn. They could live for a few hours and then pass away, or they could die at two or three or four or five. Remember, and let me just say this: when a baby dies or a child dies, they do go to heaven to be with Jesus. Okay? They do go to heaven to be with Jesus. You say, why? Because those kids, those infants, have not reached the age of accountability, which means they have not reached that age of when they can come to know Jesus Christ. Now, for all you parents out there who have lost children, and you are a believer, just rejoice that you will see them again. Again. Again, death has no respect of persons. You say, why would God allow my child to be born and then die suddenly? Again, I'm not God. I don't tend to know all the mysteries of God. But the main reason that could happen is to bring him glory. Now, yes, it's sad that a child dies at a young age and parents have to go through the grieving process. Yes, that is sad. But you don't have to remain sad about death. If you are a believer in Jesus Christ, death should be in a glorious experience time because you're going from this earthly sin-crusted life to heaven. Remember, you and I are not guaranteed tomorrow. We're not even guaranteed the next 30 minutes on this earth. Remember, life is very, very short. I don't want you to be afraid of death if you're a believer. Be excited about it. Remember, death has no sting and victory in Jesus Christ. I want you to take comfort in these words that I've spoken to you today. If, you're, if you are scared of death, give your life to Jesus Christ, and he will take away that fear of death for you. Remember, we don't know everything, all there is to know about why God takes life at, any, at, a, at a young age, but he does. But you have to remind yourself that God knows what he is doing. And he will comfort you during your time of loss. That's my message for you guys today. You guys have a great day. God bless. Watch, like, share, comment, subscribe. Help me get to 10,000 subscribers. Guys, remember, you are loved by God, and life is short. Make it count. Have a great day, everybody. God bless you all.